Rebuilding a Bernac Vulcan model steam engine toy, part 17. Drilling clearance holes in the new boiler barrel into the base. A comparison between an original engine and my Super Vulcan. Selecting a suitable safety valve and showing the construction, followed by setting the valve to the correct blow-off pressure. The job starts by enlarging the holes in the boiler barrel where it bolts to the base. The original bolts are quite small. I'm going to increase the size to 4BA. I'm enlarging the mounting holes to 1 8 of an inch in diameter. Then I will use these holes as a guide to also drill through into the cast alloy base. That's what I'm doing here. On the original Vulcan, the boiler was actually bolted through with nuts and bolts, three of them, for the base to the barrel. I intend to thread the base 4BA. And once I've done this, I will enlarge the holes in the barrel to clearance size, which is 9 ths for 4BA bolts. Deburring is very important. Whenever you drill a hole or thread a hole, there's always some sort of a burr. For this deburring operation, I am using a twist drill bit. You don't need the drilling machine, it's a manual operation, and all of the burrs soon disappear. For the burrs on the inside, I had to use a flapper wheel, as I've shown previously. Once I deburred the holes, I fitted the boiler barrel to the base, and then ran the drill through one more time to make sure everything was in line, and it was more or less in line. But doing it this way makes absolutely sure that there aren't any errors. I'm being very careful to make sure that the twist drill doesn't slip and mark either the base or the barrel. That would be tragic at this stage. The alignment of the holes was very close indeed. After the drilling operation, I used the airline to blow away all the debris. At this stage, I don't need to go any further with this part of the job. The enlargement of the holes in the boiler barrel to 9 ths will take place just before I assemble it. There are quite a few other jobs to do before that time arrives. This is quite an interesting image. Three Bernat Vulcans sat on the bench. On the left hand side is the original boiler barrel, which with the help of a piece of birthday card I made a pattern to transfer the hole positions and the cutout to the new shell. The Bernat Vulcan on the right hand side is in original condition. I made two video series about Bernat Vulcans before this one. And if you're interested in seeing the other series, please type Bernat Vulcan into the search box on my YouTube channel. The Super Vulcan that I'm making is slightly taller than the others. There's a reason for this, it's to accommodate the thickness of the top cap and the disc that sits above the firebox. The amount of space for extra water in this case is negligible. The next thing I'm going to look at is the safety valve. And on an original Burnout Vulcan, the safety valve looks like this one on the right hand side. For my Super Vulcan, I'm going to use a better type of safety valve. What happened to the safety valve from the original Vulcan? I fitted that to a small brass traction engine that I was working on. This is the type of safety valve I'm going to use on my Super Vulcan. It's called an express safety valve. These are normally used on miniature steam locomotives. This is a very small one. And they're called express safety valves because they actually resemble the safety valves on an express steam locomotive. I need to set the pressure of this valve because at the moment it's blowing off at far too high a pressure. But before I do that, I'd just like to show you how to hold one of these when it's pushed into a piece of silicone rubber that's carrying air pressure. Do not, under any circumstances, hold the valve by gripping the piece of silicone rubber because this would allow the valve to fly off and possibly hit you in the face. Hold it like I showed in the previous clip applying pressure with your fingers to both the safety valve and the silicone rubber, which will hold everything together. I thought it would be a good idea to dismantle this valve and show you how it's put together. The safety valve on the top left is a different type of safety valve, although the internal components work in exactly the same way. Both of these valves will work perfectly fine. I use the express safety valve for no other reason then it looks more like an original Bernac Vulcan safety valve. Once again, as seen here on the original Vulcan. Here's a close-up image of the component parts. You can see the body of the valve, the small spring, 
the spring guide, which also presses the ball down onto the seat, and the other two parts are the adjusters. These valves are made by Jubilee fittings, and these are the type I normally use. I occasionally use Stuart if it's a Stuart boiler. Anticipating change in the spring, I bought a pack of stainless steel springs from Blackgates Engineering, but these are actually too big. The original spring that came with the safety valve is perfect. This clip shows the seat for the stainless steel ball down inside the valve. It's fairly self-explanatory how it goes together. This is a very small safety valve. It only has a quarter by 40 threads per inch thread that goes into the boiler. And my normal circlet pliers only just fit. You can see the principle, you adjust the internal part and then you tighten the locking ring. And as you can see, I've adjusted the internal part so it's further out than it was. This means that less pressure is put on the ball by the spring. Currently, the valve is set to blow off at around £40 per square inch. I'll be performing a hydraulic test on this boiler once it's finished, to well over its intended working pressure at £100 per square inch. Better to be safe than sorry. There is no point when using an oscillating cylinder steam engine in having the boiler pressure any higher than 30 or 40 psi. This is the first test and the gauge on my compressor was reading 50 pounds per square inch. Here it is set to 40 psi, that will be fine for the moment. And that is it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.